Hey, is this real? I can't tell. Album review. Yes. Uh, Kill Switch and Cage put out their new album, Incarnate, March 11th, 2016. That's their seventh studio album. Uh, it's the follow up to 2013's Disarm the Descent. Uh, it's. Uh, they did, uh, you know, back in the day, they did their debut in Alive or Just Breathing with. Jesse Leach, then they got Howard Jones. Disarmed Descent, they got Jesse Leach back. Jesse Leach is still in the band. Oh, so it's a fourth album. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, huh, where do I start? Uh, okay. I'm going to come out and preface my section of this review with the main reason for what I'm about to say, which is when I when this album first came out, and even when they first put out uh, was it Strength of the Mind? Yeah. yeah. I kind of was anticipating slash hoping for something that was still kind of in the vein of Disarm the Descent. Like, I really liked that album. Like, I like Kill Switch. I like, you know, the horror stuff. I like, you know, As Daylight Dies... And there, and I've listened to a bit of their second self-titled, oh. and uh, and I, and I like that. But I kind of like Disarm the Descent a little bit better. Like that album is really tight with songs like, of course, In Due Time and uh, A Tribute to the Fallen. <laughs> and um, you know, so I I really liked that album. And I was hoping that this album would have been like the the next step. You know what I mean? Like maybe that mixed with some of the melodic stuff and. And this album's kind of the opposite. So even though, and I will, I'm going to say this, because I'm, I'm going to talk, and basically it's the only thing, and this will affect my score, is that even, this, is a, this is a really good album, but I can't help the slight feeling of, like, disappointment. Because, again, I had this of what I, of what I was hoping for and what I wanted, and then this is still good, but it's not what I was expecting. But this album's still really good. Like, um... This is, uh, again, much more in the veins of the more melodic kill switch, I'd say. You know, like A lot of songs are like that. I mean, songs like um, We Carry On and Just Let Go are, you know, songs that definitely end uh, Alone I Stand or songs that kind of come to mind that are more, you know, the melodic side of kill switch. Where they do still get into the, uh, the, the more aggressive, in-your-face style, again, with songs like, uh, you know, uh, Hate by Design... Uh, Until the day was a little more upbeat. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. The great deceit, and then one of the the uh, bonus tracks, which is reignite, is like again more in your face. And like, but and that's the thing. Like this album kind of has those moments, but they don't mix. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of it's either mostly melodic or it's in your face. In which the in your face stuff I don't think works as well as it does mm -hmm. on Disarm the Descent because it, because again it's a different kind of album. The production's different, you know. Disarm of the Descent was very, uh, like, thick and, like, in your face, and it kind of hits hard. Whereas this is supposed, to, since this album's a lot more melodic in a lot of ways, that uh, this is, again, a much a more toned down uh, mix in a lot of ways. But yeah, um, I think Jesse Leach sounds sounds uh, good on this album. I mean, I think I, again, again, I probably preferred his performance on Disarm the Descent a little bit, but it's still good, but, and everything, everything sounds good, like, again, uh, we were talking Strength of the Mind, that opening, like, riff, that main riff is awesome, it's like a, a fucking awesome riff, and then, um, probably my favorite song on the album, I mean, not count Reignite's probably my favorite, but that's a bonus track, so I might not necessarily count that, but probably the first track, Alone I Stand, is my favorite song from the album, that song is just really good, it just kind of, uh, Again, it's I, I really like the chorus is is where that song gets me, and it's just, um, 
it yeah, it's it's melodic and it's awesome and it's it's kill switch. I mean, that's probably the best descriptor of the whole thing is that is that it's kill switch. And this is a very kill switch album. It's just uh, and it's a good album. I really like this album. And you know, after putting this album away for a little bit and coming back and listening to it, I don't doubt that this album will pro- pro- most likely be in my top ten. You know, maybe even again down the road, maybe even my top five albums of the year. But at this point, because again, I've having two days to listen to it, which we've done, um, I can't help the feelings of disappointment because. Even though this is a great album, it's not the one that I was looking for. That's my personal opinion. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. Killswitch Engage is a band. They're a metalcore band, and they still show everybody that they're the best metalcore band in town. Uh, in my opinion uh, even when they're not firing on all cylinders with the exception of maybe their self-titled from 2009 uh, di- Killswitch Engage completely they just show it every show everybody how it's done like hey you wanna write metalcore music we're still gonna kick your fucking ass uh, Disarmed or Descent to me was such a special album. One, because Jesse Leach was coming back, so it felt, like, super fresh. Uh, Kill Switch Engage felt, you know, you can tell with that album. They felt super rejuvenated. Go listen to their self-titled, their final album that they've done, at least so far, with Howard Jones, and then listen to Disarm the Descent. It is a night and day difference in, turn of, in terms of energy and songwriting, everything. So much better with Disarm the Descent. That album, to me... Is flawless to me. I mean, I reviewed when it came out and I reviewed it. I gave it out a ten out of ten. I still very much stand by that. That that is such a fucking awesome album to me. Uh, so I too had extremely high expectations, uh, and I too can't help but feel slightly disappointed with this album. But at the same time, this is a solid album. Like, it is just a good album. Uh, But there's a couple small things that, uh, you know, kind of get to me a little bit. Uh, The first thing is that I feel that occasionally in some of the songs, and I I take Just Let Go as as the biggest example of this to me. And I'm not saying this is every song, just occasionally. I feel like they have great ideas, but they don't use them enough for example just let go about three quarters through that song it kind of switches up after a chorus gets to an incredibly cool riff uh you know great drum beat excellent vocals and then it just kind of goes away and they're back to the chorus and it just was like that it's like wow this sounds so fucking awesome oh we're done you know it's just there's occasional moments on there where i'm just like fuck Keep it going. Um, what's the fucking jam? Uh, Quiet Distress, I believe. Uh, starts off with like this acoustic intro. And I'm like, this sounds cool. This sounds like it's going to be something from like Times of Grace. You know? What, that Jesse and Adam did a couple years ago. And I'm like, this sounds cool. Where's this going to go? And then that, that just kind of is gone. They didn't develop that idea. And... And that something that they could have used. What's the point of that intro then to that song? I mean, you might as well just start the fucking song, you know, when the actual song starts. You know, it's kind of wasted time recording that and, you know, putting hours into that little part there. You know, it's like, I don't know, it just felt a little pointless. And, and that's that's my my thing with this album in a couple <laughs> places. Um, I think Jesse Leach sounds phenomenal. Uh, 95% of the time, uh, I cannot stand the song Cut Me Loose. Uh, that chorus to me is like very unbearable to listen to. It just doesn't feel Kill Switch Engage. That whole song to me does not feel Kill Switch Engage personally. Um, I know that, that's, I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, but it just, it just doesn't work. And, you know, but other than that, 
I feel Jesse Leach sounds really I personally I feel his scream vocals sound better on here I feel he has you know a lot more like anger to him and you you can kind of tell he's putting a hell of a lot more effort into it um, and then his clean vocals sound really good. I mean, Just Let Go is an extremely catchy song. I love Strength of the Mind and, uh, you know, Quiet Distress. Uh, let's see. I mean, We Carry On and Hate by Design. There's a lot of very catchy fucking songs on here. But I, I, I just can't help but feel slightly disappointed because every song on Disarmament of Descent to me is, is a fucking classic. And I can't... Re- Personally, I can't really sit here and say a lot of these songs will be classic Kill Switch Engage songs. If I was to make a top ten Kill Switch Engage songs, I, I don't see a lot of songs on this album being put on that list. Uh, but that's not to say that there's, you know, I mean, it sounds like we're shitting on this album, but we we honestly do really like this album. We're just we, you know. I just personally feel that Kill Switch Engage can do a little bit better, uh, and, and, but it's still, like I said in the beginning, when they're not 100% on top of their game, like I feel with this album they're like 90% there, you know, they're still doing it better than everybody else. Um, and, and there's there's some, you know, I take the song Embrace the Journey up praised, appraised, and I mean, that song is vicious, man, that song is fucking heavy there's some super tight riffs on here i mean adam adam d he's a great fucking songwriter and he oh he's always proved to be an incredible songwriter uh and there's no different on here i mean strength of the mind is probably my favorite song guitar wise on this album i love the 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 melodic chorus there i love that main riff the verse riff is super thrashy there's a lot of thrashy moments on here but one thing that we were discussing before uh we hit the fucking record button uh it feels like there's a lack of solos on this album or at least when they're there they don't really stand out like before uh it with previous uh kill switch engage albums i mean when it comes to metalcore and solos they do it extremely well they always have i mean the solo in in uh in due time is probably one of my favorite solos of all time that solo is so tight it's so good uh and i just feel there's a little bit of lack of them. i know the one in like just let go is pretty rad um in so that's just me. That's not something to really knock the album for. If they're, if you know, if they didn't feel that their their you know a solo didn't work here or it's just not going to fit, yeah. then it just doesn't fit. You no need to force it. But uh, so it's not something I'm going to sit here and say. Well, this album sucks. You know, album sucks. Not enough solos. Not enough solos. Yeah. Seven point eight out of ten. Too uh, too many screen vocals. Yeah. Seven point eight out of ten. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, otherwise. This is just another good Kill Switch Engage album. Uh, you know, I'd probably go. I always go back and forth. I, I, I probably go Alive or Just Breathing and Disarm and Descent. Like they're like a dick hair apart in terms of like the best albums from Kill Switch Engage. They probably as Daylight Dies and then maybe this album. Uh, I'd say this album's probably better than the End of Heartache personally. Uh, think we can all say that their self-titled from 2009 is probably the worst kill switch engage album even that one's not bad either it's like fuck you know it's just expectation levels to me you know it's kind of like there's certain bands in metal that just literally knock it out of the park with almost every album and this is one of those bands and and you just throughout their entire career because they've done so well and they've just create such incredible masterpieces of their genre. You expect so much from them every time. I mean, I can't imagine, you know, some of the pressure they're probably under sometimes to just completely kill it. Uh, and especially if you're following up to Sarm Descent, I mean, it's like, fuck, you know? It's kind of like, you know, Iron Maiden's another band, you know? You expect 
fucking perfection from, from that band every, almost every time. You know? Uh, I'm trying, trying to think of other bands. Like, Cannibal Corpse to me is another band. Opeth is a great fucking example. You expect fucking a masterpiece from Opeth every time because almost every album they put out is a fucking masterpiece. Machine Head is another one. You know, it's like... There's, there's some bands like that, and that's this band, and when they don't 100% get there, even if they're close, like they are with this album, you still feel slightly disappointed. But, nonetheless, this is solid. There's some tight riffs, great songs. Uh, I just wouldn't call it a classic, in my opinion. Still will probably be pretty up there on my end of the year list as well. You look like you're pondering something, or you're just making a dumb face. I'm pondering. Pondering my score. <laughs> when we get that far. Uh, hey, anything else? No, not really. Like I said, I mean, it's a good album. Like I said, it's probably, I, I mean, this album, I, this is definitely one of those albums that I see being a grower. You know what I mean? In terms of like that. Like, it'll, more listens to it, it'll be like, and then I could see me, like, probably liking this album a lot more like I do really like this album like I'm gonna serendipitously slip my score in here while I talk about this I'm gonna give it an 8.25 but it could, I could see me growing up to probably like a 9 and up like on from further listens to from later on so yeah just gonna cut me loose and use the strength of my mind mm -hmm. to get a score cause it all falls on me Alone I stand <laughs> at an 8.5 out of 10. Oh. Yeah. Until the day we post this album <laughs> review. Uh, we have to embrace the journey. Just make sure you watch some other stuff. Uh, we'll be posting some other stuff as, as we carry on. Yep, there we go. I was waiting for it. I was like, please. <laughs> That's the obvious one. Bye!